Fire Camp China Hotshots, August 1, 2019. This will occur most of the time at camp uh, under the yellow. Uh, we usually have a fire pit here in the mornings and at night before we go to bed. This is where we'll cook all of our food, breakfast, coffee, sit around uh, beginning of the day before we go out to work, and we come home at night. This is where we spend most of our time before we go to bed. Over here is the second most popular area, kind of the kitchen area. This is uh, the table. Very popular. Uh, this is where we will prep all of our food that we kind of keep stored over in this general area. Boxes. With this particular fire, since there's a lot of bears in the area, we, uh, we kind of put it up high in a, in a cache every single night. But we like to lay it out so everybody can see what we have and take advantage of all the good food that they send us every few days. Uh, yeah, it's like a classic pantry area. The tortillas are probably one of the most popular items. Um, usually we'll make a big bowl of uh, mac and cheese every few days that so everybody can share. Oatmeal, a uh, pretty popular item in the morning. And uh, we usually go through three pounds of coffee uh, a day. Mugs hang from tree branches. Canned goods, uh, the fruit and the vegetables, uh, obviously. Usually, actually, we do have a cooler over here in the ground. Usually we'll just put them in, uh, in garbage bags. Uh, it's nice to have the coolers, but uh, we dig a hole and uh, that's what keeps it cool. Like the ham, like the ham, the meats, the cheese, the eggs, hot dogs, that's, uh, that's all stored here. Just with the, uh, with the permafrost down below, um, you only have to go down a couple feet and usually you can reach the ice. And uh, yeah, it keeps all the stuff pretty cool for a few days until we get through it, until we get our next uh, batch of food. And uh, it does the trick every time. Max lowers the makeshift hole lid. Uh, this is actually our bear fence that we we set up for this particular fire. Just to uh, it's an electric fence that we set up every night before we go to bed if we happen to leave camp. Um, just to keep the bears out of this general area. Uh, we'll even like I said before, we'll, we'll put the food. You can see it kind of cached up high there. We put all the food at night until we leave camp. Um, Pretty much doing everything we can in this fire to mitigate any, any bears coming into camp, and it seems to be working pretty well. High platform. The last thing we want to do is have to deal with a, a bear that finds our food. Kind of look on the outskirts, people kind of have their camping spots spread out and get your own, everyone gets their own tent, a little, a little bit of privacy, and kind of try to spread out as, as best we can with what we're given. Um, got back stack of firewood. Like I said, every morning, every night, we've we got a big fire, so at least 20 people around can sit around it and enjoy it. A few beads that we keep our water in. The cool line up their gear over here. We'll keep our chainsaws, our tools, extra fuel. And yeah. That's about the gist of it. If you're spiked out in the lower 48, it'll, it'll, be, a little bit, it'll be quite similar to this. Another man stands behind. But a lot of times we will actually stay at the ICP with a lot of other crews and a lot of other overhead. We won't have a bonfire at night. We won't be able to cook our own food, they prepare it for us. And uh, instead of just the 20 of us out here, it could be a few hundred people. Alaska Fire Service. BLM Alaska Fire Service China Interagency Hotshot Crew. Produced by BLM Alaska Fire Service Public Affairs Office. AKFireInfo.com.